Right, so today I'm going to be doing my top five goal scorers, top five um, most clean sheets, and top five assists. Stay around. Right, so just before I do jump on into the predictions, um, I'm sorry that it's not been released a bit earlier. I did edit this quite a while ago, but I forgot to upload it. I completely forgot I had it. But anyway, smash the like. If we can hit 100 likes, that'd be insane. I'm going to win for 70 likes, though. So everyone that does drop a like, I do appreciate it, by the way. And everyone that still watches, you're a legend. I really appreciate it. I know I've been moaning lately, but YouTube's been a bit, bit of a weird one. But anyway, appreciate everyone that supports me still. Let's jump on into the predictions. So first of all, we're going to start with the... Um, who I think is going to be the top five goal scorers. And just before I do start, this was so hard. I'm not going to lie. So hard. So in fifth place, um, we're going to cut straight to the shit. And I'm, I've put Deli Ali there. And I've put him at 19 goals. Um, I think it'll be a big season for Deli Ali. I think he's going to leave next season from Spurs. I'm surprised he never went this year, to be fair. But I put Deli Ali on 19 goals. And I think the likes of Morata... I think Morata will get 19 goals as well, joint, which he couldn't get on the uh, the list. I'm just going to spoil that now. And maybe even Mane might get 19 goals, and maybe Sanchez as well. I know Sanchez got 21 goals last year, which is unreal. But yeah, I don't even know if Sanchez is going to stay. But anyway, going into fourth, I put Lacazette. This man looks like a goal machine. He may score more than 21 goals. That's what I put him down as. But um, if you take penalties, which it looks like he's going to for Arsenal as well. If you take penalties, then you've got a big boost to your goal tally. So yeah, I put Lacazette in fourth. In third, I put Harry Kane. Bit controversial, maybe. Um, a lot of people may think he's first, but um, 23 goals for Kane. Brilliant. I'm getting interrupted two seconds <clears throat> Right, so anyway, um, I've completely forgot what I was saying, but I think I was on about Harry Kane. Uh, I think he'll get 23 goals. Uh, I think he takes penalties for Spurs as well. He may score more than 23. He did score, like, was it 28 last year or something like that? Somewhere around that. And he was injured, so he may score a lot more than 23, but I've put him 23. And he's at Wembley as well. It might be a bit different. I don't know. A lot of people aren't, aren't back in spurts. They might be the underdogs this year though. Anyway, jumping into second, I put Sergio Aguero. This man will get top goal scorer if he stays fit. I've put him at second though because I have a feeling um, he may get injured or get a slight knock. But he's a goal scorer. He's, he's the best player in the Premier, in my opinion, on his day. Uh, 25 goals I've put him as. Uh, takes penalties for uh, City, I believe. And he just knows where the net is. That's pretty much it. And then at first, that leaves Lukaku one goal ahead of Aguero. I think Lukaku will stay fit all season. And he will score goals for United. He scored two in his first game already, which is mad. 26 goals for Lukaku. I think that's that's a lot. That is a very much a lot. I think Firmino could, could have got in the list as well. But um, yeah, now my computer's just crashed. Brilliant. So anyway, we'll jump into the top five assists now. Um, yeah, let's go. Right, so now jumping into the top five assists in fifth place. Obviously, again, it was very hard to choose. I've left out some big names. David Silva, Hazard, um, even Ozil, the king of assists. I don't know. But these five um, are big. So, yeah, anyway, in fifth place, I've put Mkhitaryan. I think he could even come higher up in the list. I think this is going to be Mkhitaryan's year uh, for United. He looks good. He's looked good in pre-season from what I've seen. He's, I think he got an assist on his uh, first game at United to against West Ham. Anyway, I put him at 12 assists. Uh, in fourth place, I put Sanchez with 13 assists. I think Sanchez, again, could get more, but I don't know if he's going to stay at Arsenal or not. Um, I'm not too sure about Sanchez, but I put him at 13 assists with Lacazette up front as well, scoring the goals. He, sh he should get a few more assists, so who knows? He maybe get more. In third place, I put Mane, and I wanted to put Mane a bit higher, and I think Mane is the guy to watch. If you've got a fantasy dream team, get Mane in. I've got him in. He gets your points. He scores. He assists. He passes. He defends. He's just good, Mane, isn't he? 37 million was a bargain when you think about it. And you put him at 15 assists. Um, I think him, Salah, and Firmino, the front three, um, you're not getting better than that. You're not. You're just not. That attack. Oh, it doesn't matter what it looks like on paper. When you watch them play, it, it's it, it's good to watch them play. So anyway, I've put Mane at 15 assists, and I, th I think he'll do decent. Anyway, jumping into second. This was tough. Second place, I've put Eriksen. The man, the myth, the dick. Always plays insanely against Chelsea. He's an insane player, Eriksen. Absolutely insane. Um, 16 assists, I've put him... At, um, I believe that's the exact same as last season if he does get 16 assists uh, but I won't be surprised if he gets more or even gets to the, the golden assist assister I don't even know if that's a thing but yeah I put Ericsson in second feeding Harry Kane as he always does Deli Alley 
Uh, we play against Spurs on Sunday, and I'm not going to lie, Ericsson, he never plays bad against Chelsea, so I'm kind of scared of Ericsson. And anyway, that leaves in first place the man we let go. Fuck you, Jose. De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. Um, I, do I have to explain anything about this ginger guy? He's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And the attack as well that Man City have. Um, he can feed Aguero. He can feed Jesus. He can feed, feed Silver. Both Silvers. He can feed Sterling. It's actually mad, the Man City team, on paper. I don't think Man City are going to win the league. I probably should do an updated predictions, but I don't think Man City are going to win the league. On paper, their squad's amazing, but uh, there's something about them. The chemistry. It just, I don't know. But I put De Bruyne, 18 assists. Um, he could maybe get more. I believe that's one above than last year. That might be exactly the same, but De Bruyne did get the most assists last year as well. Wouldn't be surprised if he did it again. So anyway, jumping into the uh, the top five clean sheets, I'll quickly get the image up. Um, again, quite tough. Um, in fifth place, I put um, Jordan Pickford at Everton. I think Everton may get a few more clean sheets, but um, I've put Pickford because Everton look they look strong this year, and uh, the manager Coleman, I, I rate him a lot. Um, they've got a back, they play with a back three now, as everyone does, because uh, you have to copy. Uh, Conte, there should be a copyright claim on that, I'm not having that, but anyway, Pickford in fifth with nine clean sheets, which is quite a lot of uh, clean sheets, but I think they can do it in 38 games, they've already got one assist, so there's one down, eight to go, anyway, in fourth place, uh, some people may disagree, but I put my boys Chelsea, um, well, Courtois, in 12 assists, I think our defence has potential, uh, if we play the right defence in front of Courtois, I do think we could get more assists, but, uh, clean sheets, sorry, um, 12, 12 clean sheets, I keep saying assist for something, 12 clean sheets for Courtois, um, we looked very shaky against Bernie, but that's because of injuries and because of the ref, yeah, whatever, but anyway, third place, I put uh, Forster, Southampton, South, Southampton's keeper, Forster, Southampton, absolutely quality, they always keep clean sheets, um, got a quality back line, again, get him in your dream team, he's the cheap man to go for, Fraser Forster, absolute beast, nothing much more to say about him, he will bag your points, in second place, a lot of people may disagree, but I think the best the best keeper in the Pren, De Gea gets second with uh, 15 clean sheets. Um, it, this was tight between him and Lloris. I put Lloris at 16 clean sheets, so that means there's obviously one difference. Um, I think Spurs are going to have the most clean sheets, as you can obviously see, but um, even losing Walker and potentially losing Danny Rose, there's something about Spurs. They keep the players, Pochettino, it, yeah, I, I just believe that um, Spurs will keep the most clean sheets and Lloris will get the Golden Glove for this year. So yeah, let me know what your predictions are. Um, it was very tough to choose between them. I've left out some big names. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you could drop a like, 70 likes would be good enough. If we can get 100, that would be amazing. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more Premier League debates and stuff like that. I th I'm thinking of doing a Premier League live stream. So if you want to join on and have your say about your team and stuff, hit me up. And uh, yeah, this will be every Friday, uh, well I don't know what I'm chatting, but yeah, anyway, smash the like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one, peace. <laughs>